Well, I guess it was only a matter of time before Google decided to go ahead and just drop that bombshell on everybody. So today is what, May 4th, uh, and may the fold be with you. Uh, it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna take off pretty quickly. The Google Pixel Fold now has a sign-up page and Google has decided to just drop it out to the masses. This is something that I was really excited about, hoping that you guys would get an official glimpse and stop with all the rumors and all these different things. I love to see official drops by the companies to just clear up all the nonsense and clutter for what people do on the internet. So another thing is the Pixel 7a, we're getting close, obviously we have about six days away from Google I.O. So um, I think, yeah, I think it's on the 10th, right? Uh, but I think as we get closer and closer, Google decided, hey, let me just go ahead and show you to shut up all these rumors and stop people from posting things that we already know is gonna happen. So I, I, I just, I get so excited about this. So the 7A um, has already officially leaked and there's, this is completely out there. Now the 7A, uh, before we get to the Pixel Fold, um, but the 7A, um, and I spoke of this, uh, they do these smart form awards and stuff like that. I kind of stopped doing that. I got away from that and just started just putting it out there. This is the phone that I think everyone should purchase if you were in a certain time frame. And last year it was obviously the Pixel 6a. A lot of people just did not believe that. Uh, but in fact, that is the phone that I recommend to the masses, the Pixel 6a. Now we're getting into the 7a and the 7a looks phenomenal in blue. You know, blue is the color of choice for me. Uh, my Most of my phones, most of my primary phones are blue. The blue here, the blue on my iPhone over there, the blue on my other iPhone, um, the blue on, I have, I have a lot of blue phones. Blue is actually my favorite color. People probably wouldn't believe that based on some of the things that I have. But blue is actually my favorite color for a phone for sure. And I'm glad that Google is releasing the 7A in this blue color. It is absolutely beautiful. Now, the Pixel 7A, to me, it's not here yet, obviously. It's, it's, it's not officially here. Google, I haven't seen anything from Google officially on that. It may be out there. I might have missed it at the recording of this video, but I don't think I missed anything yet. I think the Fold is, a, is the only thing that they've published so far, and they actually have a sign-up page, so go ahead and sign up. I'll try to link it down below. I don't get any credits or anything. Like, it's nothing like that. I just want you to be aware if you're interested in folding devices, because I will be purchasing this device. Hands down, no ifs, ands, or buts. Day one order. I uh, have to get it. Uh, the Pixel 7a, though, we're going to jump back over there for a second. The Pixel 7a comes in this blue color, and it is just a stunning sight to see. Now, moreover, the, it's not just a color update for the Pixel 7a that I'm, I'm excited about. I'm excited about the value that's coming with the Pixel 7a. This is incredible, folks. You're getting a 90 hertz display. Uh, you're getting, and, and again, this is unofficial, official, uh, unofficial, official right now at the recording this video, but you're getting a new color, you're getting a 90 hertz display, you're getting a wireless charging, which is something that a lot of people want, a 4,300 milliamp hour battery. It now has a flat, flatter display like the Pixel 7, the Tensor G2 tip, uh, chip. I mean, it's just going to be great. And, and I don't, now as much as I'm excited about the Fold, um, I'm really rooting for the Pixel 7a because that is a phone that is can reach more people based on price alone. It should be roughly 450 to 500 bucks, I'm assuming, uh, which puts it right under the Pixel 7. Uh, and again, I don't know the official pricing yet, but I'm telling you folks, these are phones that we should not overlook. We need to promote these phones because a couple of things are going on with the Pixel 7a that is phenomenal about the Pixel 6a, the size. Not everyone wants a big phone like this. Not everyone wants a ginormous phone. And I'm talking about the overall body of the device too. There are more people out there that feel like the Pixel 6a is a big size in phone because it does have a 6.1 inch display. There are a ton of people out there that still use the iPhone mini. That, that's a pretty small phone, but it still has a very large display when you think about it. So my favorite size for a phone is 6.1, which is my favorite size for the iPhone 14 Pro, 13 Pro, any of the Pro line of the iPhones. And then um, Samsung has the 6.1 inch display on their S23 lineup and the 22, you know, 
they're all there. And go this is Google's version of giving consumers what they actually probably should be buying in the masses. The 6.1 inch display on there should be pretty good. And it's a Samsung display. Uh, we know that it has DDR5, eight gigs of RAM is what the unofficial official rumors say for the 7A bars. And we really have to, gra we have to grasp hold of what Google is doing here with the 7A. So many people kind of overlook the 6A uh, in the, not, 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 you, not the regular people out there buying devices that are, I recommend to, it's the tech community. So many people overlook this device and critique it in such a way that it shouldn't be critiqued in my personal opinion, um, even though people call it a mid-range or a lower tier device, but you just look at what it's offering. The G2 chip, eight gigs of RAM, 90 hertz display. Displays are only up to 120 hertz across for the masses. Now, I know there are some 144 hertz, 165 hertz, but those aren't mass production yet. No one's pushing that really hard in the US. And so 90 hertz is actually a solid foundation for a person who's not tech savvy uh, to where it won't break the battery too much and they can still get some bit of a smooth display if that's what they desire. So yeah, the 7, 8 to me, you know, the 6A was my device of the year, and I don't see why I probably will be picking the 7A unless something really great comes out to shake up the industry that can com compete with the industry as far as what I'm viewing it from. I'm trying to look out for the consumer. I'm trying to look out for people's pockets, get you the lowest price, best value. And to me, while Motorola is great, they don't stand a chance against Google Pixel, the, the, the A-line. Um, they, they have great phones but they don't have the push and the drive like they used to. So, and, and then Google's hardware is just phenomenal. So on these newer lineups, I love the 6A, that, that bar style, I love that design. So when you push forward with the 7, the 7A, it should please the masses. It really should. Uh, and I'm not, the tech, tech community is not the mass majority. It's, it's the, they're the minority in that situation. The majority is everyone around the world, the regular people. They're the ones that are actually going to buy the 7A and 6A and those smaller devices. I say smaller, but it's still a big device. They're the ones that should be in that window where they're, where they're getting, they don't have to have the 7 Pro or the 6 Pro or that big screen just to say, oh, I got a quiet display or that extra ultra telezoom. They don't need that. Digital zoom is just fine on these devices and it's more than enough. Google uses AI to do a lot of processing. The machine learning with Google software is off the charts. That's why they're the master at photos right now. Yes, that's just my opinion. There are a ton of phones out there that can take photos, but when I want an official photo for something, it's definitely gonna be from a pixel. A lot of my thumbnails are generated from taking a photo on a pixel. So the 7A folks, you will see a lot of coverage on this device from me. There's no way I wouldn't cover this device because the 6A is my phone of choice in the end. Some people ask, like, if you had to have a Google Pixel and you had to keep a phone for this amount of years, I would go with the 6A. Like, if, if, if I wasn't a creator and I wasn't uh, bringing in funds this way or that way, and I was just this regular person who didn't care about technology like that, but I wanted something that could hold me down, it would be the 6A. It's an affordable purchase. It's, gonna, it's getting all the software updates that the other phones are getting. The camera's on par and better than a ton of other devices out there. The 7A will be a win. Check the box. Mark my words on that. It's going to be a hit. You cannot deny it. Now, fold. To think of Google finally saying, screw this. We're going to go ahead. And, and what they did was they put it on... Um, on all of their social media. They just lit it up, man. They they put the sign up page up. They just, they put it all, they just say we're going in and uh, they we're just gonna put it everywhere. They're just putting it everywhere. They've, they've loaded it up. They just put it over all their social media and said, check this out. We're gonna just show you. And that is what it is. It's on their, it's on their Twitter feed. It is every freaking where. And it's gonna get the attention that it deserves for me because um, I just think that this is their Twitter feed. I think it's time that people really grasp hold the reality that 
We need competition in the US for folding devices. And I'm happy that Google stepped up and finally got this to the market. So on their Twitter feed, there's a link uh, to sign up. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm totally on board with this. I've already signed up. Um, yeah, I'm a part of Team Pixel, but I'm, I don't always, most of the time when Google sends something, I support anyway and buy the opposite version of it. I just wanna, because I've always purchased Pixels before being a part of Team Pixel, so I wanna experience as much as I can within reason. And a lot of people might shake a leg at the price of the Pixel Fold, but the device I'm recording in on right now, this is the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4, and it is an expensive device too. We don't know what Google software is gonna be like at this point. We know that Samsung is like the king of software. They overload the phones with software, with things most people probably won't even use, but it is there. And I used to be one of those people who would take it off, I'm not gonna use it, but I've grown accustomed to it now, and I really can appreciate what Google is doing here and what Samsung is doing with their software. Samsung software is solid at this point, so Google needs to bring it. The Pixel Fold, or if that's the official name or whatever, it's going to be, the reason it's going to be a hit more than likely just for the, the sake of having another folding device in this market. So there's some features that I'm really praying that the Pixel Fold has. Like right now, I'm using the rear cameras of the Fold 4 with the cover display. Sometimes you see me tilt down and look, that's because I can see myself. I'm getting the best cameras out of this device for this type of setting and it's going to be hot. I'm so, I, I really hope Google takes advantage of this type of recording capabilities and using the front display as a cover display like this and being able to use the rear cameras and get the best performance from them and shoot video like this of yourself. I'm really hoping that, or take photos and give the other person a chance to see what you see. So this is one of the main features that I hope Google has on the Pixel Fold, being able to use the front display as a cover video uh, a viewfinder to use the rear cameras. This is a huge, huge thing for me because I do videography for vlogs and stuff like that and I need to be able to see myself and I don't like using a phone. Like I have to, when I use the cameras on here, I have to frame myself, get it set in position and then hit record. Now the plus is that I have the S Pen to stop on here uh, I do have an S Pen for my Z Fold 4. I just forgot it over there. But um, there's so many advantages that Google could jump in this market for. And uh, again, a lot of people are harping on the price, the rumored of $17.99. Like I said, I was going to buy it. I'm Team Pixel, but if they don't send it to me, I'm just going to buy it. I don't have a choice. I have to get this device, man. I'm ready for something else other than Samsung to be officially in the U.S. as the folding kings. Like, I know that there's folding devices out there, but how many other official folded devices are in the U.S. competing with the Z Fold lineup? None. None that I can think of. So, I am excited. I'm pumped just like, I mean, this really brings the spark back to the tech field because Google, while they haven't officially given any, you know, real detailed information about it, the recording of this video, I'm sure it'll pop up later or you know, whatever, but... And at Google I.O., you know they're going to show it. I really hope they take advantage of, of the folding form factor. You could bring out a fold, but if you don't take advantage of the form factor, it's kind of a waste. It's kind of like the iPad having all that surface, and then it's not really taking advantage of it over the years. Remember, we all talked about that. But I'm hoping you guys enjoyed a quick update. The Pixel Fold is official. Pixel 7, not so much yet recording this video. Again, it's May 4th. And um, yeah, May 4th. And, and it, I'm ready for it to be official. I'm so ready for the 7A to be official. And I'm glad that Google finally oh, came forward and pushed this out, man. I'm so excited. It's been a long time coming. The rumor mill has been spinning. One thing is for certain is that it definitely looks like all the rumors that have come out. So, and I think, I, I, before I get out of here, I know that, Google, that companies test the water like that. Sometimes companies will leak their own product. I'm not saying this is what Google has done, but sometimes companies will leak their own product, give it to somebody, and, you know, give them a little something to push it on out there and see what the people think. I think it's a beautiful thing. I'm so happy that we get a shorter form factor like the Apple Find N. I was close to pulling the trigger on the Apple Find N when it dropped. The 2 came out. I was close to pulling it. Um, I said I'm holding fast for a minute just to see what Google does. And I'm glad that I waited. Now I get that same form factor in size, hopefully. And... Um, 
it's going to be much better on the pocket. I don't know how heavy it's going to be and all those different things right now. I just want to give you my, my, my first initial thoughts on it. Uh, so when it comes in, you see my unboxing, you're going to see the real me. You know how I get down with this. I don't, I don't like, I'll show you what, what it is right on top. If it's really great, you'll see my, my expressions and my emotions at that moment. So it's your man, Jay. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let's stop this video. How did the Z Fold 4 do? I mean, obviously I know it did great, uh, but <laughs> let's hope that Google takes advantage of the situation like this for a person like me. I have a special mount for folding devices to hold them at, so, that, so I can do videos like this. And I'm so Google, you need to bring this version for yourself. Be able to have a cover display viewfinder with the front display while you're recording and taking photos with the rear cameras. You gotta make it happen. It's your man Jay, hope you guys enjoyed. Let's stop this video. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.